Larson? I've tried everything, but I just can't seem to figure out this case. So, what do you propose we do? Well, we're not gonna do anything, but he is. Do you mean... Yeah. Get me the number four. Hello, ma'am. Hi, how can I help you? I am Detective Harry Stash. Okay, well, I'm Susan. You must be the detective that Chief Larson told me about. And you are? I'm Brooklyn Torres, his sidekick. Okay, great. If you wouldn't mind, could you sign in right here? You've heard of me. You want my autograph. Brooklyn Taurus and Detective- Harry Stash! Um, they're here to see you. Okay, great. Send them in. Oh! You must be Brooke. I am. It's good to meet you, Chief Larson. Oh, please. No need to be so formal. Oh, I love your ring. Oh, <laughs> why thank you. It's actually one of a kind. And your purple hair is gorgeous. Oh, why thanks. You know, actually, I went undercover in the carnival. It gets a little sticky there. But, um, to this day, I'm still afraid of clowns and those red balloons. Okay, Ooh. break it up. Hi, I'm Harry Stash. Good to meet you. Oh, Mr. Stash, you're actually really well known around these parts. After I heard what you did for the NYPD, I just knew that you were the guy for this job. <laughs> well, it's good to know I have a fan. Unlike your secretary. Why am I here? Why is any of us here? What is life? What is death? What is life and death mixed together? Is it, is it Leth? Or Dive? Right. So the reason you're here, there was a robbery down at the Wentworth Antique Shop. No one knows who this perp is, but we do know that he's only stealing all the expensive stuff. Wow. You know, I feel bad for the person who would break the lot just to steal the most boring junk in the world. Excuse me? <laughs> so, do you have any leads for us? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. You know, we've gathered very little evidence in this case, which makes finding a suspect extremely hard. But there's gotta be someone connected to this robbery. Well, the witness, but I mean, he is the witness, so I wouldn't make him a suspect. Maybe he's faking it. Maybe it's an inside job. What do you have of this guy? Huh. Well, I have his file right here. His name's Maverick Jennings, and um, he was working as a store clerk during the robbery, and apparently it, you know, shook him up a little bit. <laughs> Can't take the heat. And, uh, he's working as a handyman now. He's actually, uh, repainting the Wentworth Cafe as we speak. Oh. Alright, Chief, we'll go check that out. Thank you. No. Thank you. Because I believe that together, we can solve. I'm feeling the groove. Why? Because I'm happy I got the case, and I'm happy I'm gonna solve it. So, why are you dancing? Brooke, look over there! That guy isn't wearing a helmet. I'm gonna go save a life. Oh, Harry, can I do it? Uh... <laughs> Brooke, here's the thing. 
As, as my sidekick, I have this rule. I, I call it rule one. And in that rule, it states that if I'm ever in any sort of like, you know, physical altercation or confrontation with someone that, you know, you, you just stay out of it. Don't get involved, okay? It's, it's for your own good. Hey, 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 stop kid. Let me tell you about a dream I had recently. And in that dream, there was a guy who was riding down the street on his skateboard, but he wasn't wearing a helmet. Then all of a sudden, wham, he got hit by a car. And let me tell you something, that man lost more than his limbs that day. He lost his brains, he lost his intestines, he lost all his flippin' phalanges, he lost his colon, he lost that useless organ, what's it called, the, um, the heart? Yeah, I'm crazy, right? But more than all of that, he lost his will to live. Granted, he was already dead, but you get the point. Wear a helmet. And remember, kids, safety first. You could have rented any vehicle with four wheels. And you decided to rent a lawnmower? Yep. Well, I don't see Maverick anywhere. Yeah, neither do I. Maybe he's painting outside. This cafe ain't big enough for two amazing mustaches. Oh, I agree completely. Is this thing even real? Oh, yeah, it's real. How about yours? Don't you dare. Okay, I do not know what just happened, but we need to go find Maverick. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh. What now? Free double stacked waffle samples with bacon. Mm, this is so good. Right? Okay, so uh, what's Maverick's file say? It doesn't say much. It says he's 22, lives on 23 Park Street, and it doesn't say if he's married or not. I was just looking at his Facebook here, and it listed his relationship status as it's complicated. Whatever that means, I don't know. What the heck? What? Apparently Maverick's into something called ladder yoga. Ladder yoga? Yeah, apparently it's like the new trendy workout method. I've never heard of it. Because you're not trendy. Can we really consider that as being, quote, trendy? Uh, yes. It's literally blowing up all over social media right now. Look, Maverick recently posted a pic of him doing ladder yoga. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. Harry, I, I think that's Maverick over there. Oh, yeah, I think it is. I got this. Hey, buddy! Yeah, you know I'm talking to you, Maverick. Don't look away. The mustache sees all, my friend. And I don't want you walking away either. <gasps> Did you just knock over my double stack? I can't get arrested. Not again. That is it! You are under arrest! Ah! Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> well, I guess I'll go get Maverick. Wait, Brook, help me! I can't. Rule one, remember? No! Bro, what was that for? Oh, oh, I didn't do anything! Oh. Ah! What did you not do? I didn't steal a roll of toilet paper! Is he with you? No, never seen him. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Hey, I'm Maverick. Hey! Are you kidding me? Really? Toilet paper? Wait, so you're not with Maverick? Oh, okay, I get it. Sir, this has been one big misunderstanding. Ah! Oh. 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 And that's why you don't mess with Harry Stash. Just remember, I didn't do it. I, I didn't do anything. I was never here. the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used dude, against dude, you in a court dude. of law. Dude. If you don't stop, I'm gonna hurt you. Now that will be used against you in a court of law. Harry, can you just go find Chief Larson and tell her we are about to blow her mind? Okay. Hey, Chief Larson, I'm about to blow up your mind. That's not what I meant. I'm gonna kill him. Uh, hey guys, Chief Larson's actually not here right now. Uh, she'll be back in a little bit. Okay, can you just tell Jennifer that we'll be in the interrogation room when she gets here? Will do. Yeah, actually, Brooke, I think I'm gonna you know, talk to this jokester alone. Interrogations can get pretty intense, and I just don't think you're ready for that yet. Oh. Okay, I guess you're the boss. <laughs> don't let him get away. I had to make 
make sure he didn't try to get away. So you knocked him out? But don't worry, it's all a part of my plan. Run for me in the coffee shop. You caught me off guard with all your yelling. <laughs> like I'm gonna believe that. Why am I even here? Do you have something on me? Should we? As you'll remember, the antique store you worked at was robbed last week. You think I robbed it? We're simply investigating every lead. But yes, I do think you robbed it. That's off the record, though. Don't don't tell anybody I said that. So please, tell me what you uh, remember seeing during the robbery. I was standing behind the counter, and this guy in black busted through the door, waving a gun. He threatened to shoot me if I didn't give him the most valuable artifact. And then he ran out the back door with it. I called the cops, and I told them what I just told you. In the police report that you filled out on the day of the robbery, you described the crook's gender as being, quote, unidentifiable. That is not what you just told me. What do you know? Okay, fine. Someone promised me a cut of the money if I faked being the victim of the robbery. That's all. Oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Are we done here? Can I leave? Listen to me, man! I don't have time for this! Now tell me who your accomplice is. <laughs> Brooke! Where are you? What's going on? Brooke? 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 What's going on? It's fine. The fire alarms are going off. It happens. You don't know that. It could have been the monsters deliberately putting us into the dark so they can eat us alive. Maverick's still in there? Yeah. I told you to put him in his cell when you were done. It's fine. It's not like there's a back door or anything. There's a back door. Here you are talking to Maverick about 10 minutes ago. If we speed up the video, there he is sitting alone. And this is the camera to the back door. And what? Oh, uh, there goes Maverick. Wait, wait, go back. I saw something. Right there. Pause the video. You see that? I know exactly why it went off. Hmm. Why? So, uh, Maverick may have escaped. What? How did you let this happen? One word. 
You. You stole the antiques and hired me to get everyone off your scent. But you were the mastermind behind it all, manipulating everything we did in your favor. We were the puppets and you were the puppeteer. We were the action figures and you were the five-year-old chugging us across the room. That was way more than one word. That's not the point. The point was, you are the big, big, big villain. Is that a fat joke? Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. No, that's not what I meant. I was just trying to communicate that we know the evil mastermind behind this whole operation. <laughs> oh, hmm. how comforting. And, um, huh, by the way, you're fired! <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Don't try to lie. You'll just make it worse on yourself, Chief. I'm not lying. I ain't no thief. More lies. That ring you're wearing right now was the same one you wore in the security video. And you said it was a one of a kind. So there couldn't have been a duplicate. Okay, fine, I lied. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ring's not one of a kind. I want him in an arcade, okay? Turns out I'm pretty good at skee ball. Oh. Well, that changes things. Hey guys, I just saw Maverick. He's still in the building? No, he's right here. I found this on Susan's desk and Susan's gone. Chief, who else has access to this office? I mean, no one. Besides Susan, but you know. It's only after she cleans up after me, but you know, other than her, there's nobody else. Wait, who's the bad guy now? Been doing here? Maverick's not here. He just got broken out of police custody. There's no way he's coming back to his house. Criminals can be pretty careless. If they're not here, we'll figure something else out. Look, Brooke, just face it. I was right and you were wrong. And that's okay to admit. I'm not trying to offend you or anything, but I just have a sense about these things. That's why I am 100% certain that Maverick is not here. Harry, behind you? Maverick! Oh! How are you doing? I'm fine. Just made a sandwich. Do you want it? Yes. What was that for? You probably poisoned the sandwich. No, I didn't. I even used gluten free bread. <laughs> exactly. You prefer to fight with a spoon. My favorite. Rule one is done anyways. Wow. That was awesome. Brooke, you are far more capable than I ever gave you credit for. I mean, why do I always make it about me? I always make it about me. Me, 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 and I Harry. never give you any of the credit. Harry, Susan! No, you better than Susan. Why don't I ever shut Harry, up? Yeah. I <laughs> Mommy. Are you alright? <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for doing that. I like the slam. It's my favorite. Wouldn't want to break it. You know, Susan, I used to think you were nice. Nope, no, you are not going anywhere. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, yeah. You got this, honey. Hey, you got this, Brooke. Come on, Susan, take her down. <laughs> In your dreams. Nice shoes. Thanks, five dollars on the clearance rack. Hey, by the way, we're dating. Okay, congratulations. Well, the only thing is, she's a little crazy. <laughs> Sweet move. I'm feeling that tomorrow. My mom's got a mustache. So why are you stealing antiques? What can I say? I like old things. Oh, burn! She just called you old. <laughs> Thanks for the food. You pay for it. That's true. It's like it's like a dinner in a show. Right? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Oh! Hey, you wanna try this? I do. You wanna try this? Yeah. You know, Susan, you're not so bad. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> I know I have to do my job and arrest you, but we can still be friends when you're in jail. Sure, we can be friends, but you're still never going to catch me. I got Susan! She was really gonna hit me with a lamp? You know, Brooke, I really appreciate you helping me with this case. It's been a huge help. I actually have another case a few towns over. You in? Yeah, but I think I need to be promoted from a sidekick to partner in crime. Or rather, partner in solving crime. <laughs> Fair enough. Are those Susan's glasses? Yeah, she said they looked good on me. Hmm. They don't. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Chief Larson, for everything you've done. It's been a real pleasure working for you. And uh, sorry about the whole, you know, accusing you of being a villain thing and while simultaneously trying to arrest you and throw you in jail. Ah, no hard feelings. Well, I, I know occasionally that I can make a mistake here or there. Who would have thought? You know what I realized? That on my own, I would have never pinned Susan as the thief. Well, Harry, we should probably get going. Agreed. Oh, but just remember, if you're ever in need of an awesome detective with an awesome sidekick... Uh, partner. Remember, we just talked about this. It's partner. Oh, whoops. With an awesome partner. Then you need to call... Harry Stash.
Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, let's do this. Here we go now. Heavy stash, heavy stash, you're the man. <laughs>